This is a simple demonstration, one that you can do at home, a demonstration of Bernoulli's principle. I have one of my wife's um, spools for thread. I have a pin and it's stuck through a piece of just construction paper. All there is to it. You can amaze your friends and neighbors with this one. Um, hollow out the spool, put the pin through the spool. And the, the part that's not so really amazing is if you suck up through this hole, the paper will of course, uh, because of the suction, I'm evacuating the hole here and the paper is sucked up because of that, uh, because the pressure below is atmospheric and I've created a small vacuum in here. The more interesting one, the, the one that demonstrates Bernoulli's principle is when you blow down, vertically down through this hole. So it seems unexpected that um, you would have thought that the air coming down through that hole would blow the, um, the piece of construction paper away from the spool. But it's not what happens. What happens instead, if this is the spool and this is the piece of paper, the airflow goes down through that center hole, uh, hits the piece of paper and exits um, to either side. Well, it exits radially in all directions. So it's coming down through here and going out in all directions. Because the, the velocity is high here, the pressure must be low by Bernoulli's principle. So you have a low pressure up in this region between the paper and the bottom of the spool, but you have high pressure, well, or normal pressure, atmospheric pressure down here. So the pressure pushing up on the paper is greater than the pressure um, in, this, in this region, and, and that difference in pressure, the high minus the low, is what holds the paper in place. And that actually counteracts the effect of the air hitting the surface. The air will hit the surface and will, will cause an impulse like, a, like a, a rocket when it's shooting out its fuel, hitting the surface actually pushes it down. But this pressure effect, which is due to the Bernoulli principle, is the greater of the two effects and holds it in place.